Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and today we're gonna be I'm gonna be explaining uh, with paint PLX chips, and I'm gonna do it with another company analogy. Except this time the company isn't mine because, well, you'll understand as soon as we get this company drawn up. So we have company PC. That does not stand for politically correct because I'm the designer of this thing. Um, i7 6700K, and, and this is the company HQ. Okay, this is no longer the entire company, this is just the HQ of the company. This HQ has three buses, well, no, trucks, okay? They have a big eight crate truck, so this is the eight crate, right? It has a little box on it for eight crates, and that's one truck. They have another truck, this truck can carry four crates. And then they have one more truck which can carry also four crates. Yay, everybody's happy. So, they got these trucks. And now the problem is, they have all these facilities that they need to send these trucks to. In fact, they have four facilities. And let me just get to it, and soon enough you'll understand the reason why this company isn't mine. Um, this is facility GTX 980. It's a picture drawing facility, or it can do physics. Uh, this is also a picture drawing facility. And uh, this is another picture drawing facility. And here we have a warehouse. All right. These guys are all hooked up to the highway system that these trucks run on. Okay, now here's the problem. The GTX 980, like, production houses, the upper management in them refuses to send stuff in eight eight crate truck uh, in smaller trucks than eight crate trucks okay so they won't send you images in four crate trucks they'll send you physics you know like math they'll send you math in four crate trucks but they won't send you um pictures in four crate trucks for whatever ridiculous reason because pictures are only two crates worth of cargo okay actually no they're only three crates worth of cargo but you know they got their reasons they're not going to put them on a four crate truck and the SSD also only needs like three crates worth of cargo because, you know, it's a warehouse. So, so to deal, and so the, the issue is basically since these guys won't send anything on less than eight spaces, then, well, you can hook these two trucks together, right? And that makes an eight crate truck in theory. You know, you just like put a little bit of rope on them and there we go. We got an eight crate truck. Or if we want, we can make a 16 crate truck, right? If you connect all three of them. But, basically, you can do this. You can get pictures from this guy, and also get pictures from this guy. You can't get pictures from this guy. You can't even, like, send anything to these two other guys. They're, they're just sitting there, right? They're, they're not able to ship anything, because there's no trucks for them. And the, alter the last alternative is that you don't um, put these two guys on a chain, so they're not connected, right? And then, then what you can do is you can send this guy here and, well, wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. This guy there. And this guy can go here, right? And then this guy is sending math. This guy's not doing anything. And then this guy is storing data. And so everybody's more happy than before, but it's still not great because we really need picture drawers, not more math crunchers. We already got one in HQ. Um, so what our wonderful company PC does is they hire a, another company called PLX Co. And PLX Co. have their own buses. And PLX Co. is awesome. They solve problems. The real way. So PLX Co. has eight buses. Like four, eight buses. Uh, I mean eight trucks. I'm sorry about saying buses all the time. I'm really well. I haven't slept for ages. I'm I'm basically running on energy drink right now, and when I first planned out this video, everything was a bus. So forgive the buses, but these are trucks. Okay, these are all trucks. I'm drawing trucks, not buses. Um. So yeah, so these guys have four eight trucks, and PLX Co is cool because they'll take. 16 or, or oh, they'll take you know 16 crates or eight uh, eight crates worth 
of trucks uh, and they'll redistribute them into these eight. I mean these four eight trucks, eight crate trucks. So now what the HQ can do is HQ can just take all three of their trucks, right? And just take them and send them here. PLX Co deals with all the messy stuff. PLX Co sends a, they send a truck to here, right? And this is an eight truck, so upper management who don't know what happens here, they, they, they don't complain. Look, an eight truck that we're supposed to put our stuff on, let's just put it on there. These guys are the same, these guys are the same, and th this guy is also the same. So everybody's now happy, right? They're getting their eight truck and all these eight trucks turn up here where in fact there's only 12 crates worth of stuff, right? In total, we only have 12 crates worth of stuff here, right? It's 12 crates. So these guys are happy because here we got like 16 crates of throughput, right? Totally, we can push around 16 crates. And these guys are only sending 12 crates, so 12 crates come here, they repackage them, and there's 16 crates there. This does introduce a little bit of latency, but PLX Co is incredibly fast, and it's about 60 nanoseconds or 50 nanoseconds, depending on which service from PLX Co you choose to use. Now, um, there is a problem. PLX Co can't just ram more stuff through. So, if suddenly somebody, say, this guy asks for eight, right? He asks to send eight crates. Well, th th then it's a problem because PLX Co can pick up eight crates just fine. They have an eight crate truck, you know, they can just come up and take the eight crates. But the problem is when they get here because then suddenly you have total 17 crates, right? So just add them up in line like that, you know, go up and that, that gives you the 17. So you, you get 17 crates total. And that means a problem because there's one crate extra than what they can cram on these trucks. So what happens is the extra crate stays here. Um, these trucks do an extra journey. They pick up, you know, and if they keep sending 17 crates, like there's more steadily, there's more and more backlog of late crates. And that just slows everything down. Or, it, and it can get worse, you know, you can ask, every, everybody might send eight crates, and then, then everything is completely buggered because, you know, there, this is four times slow, this is two times slower than what, what this is. So if everybody sends eight crates, then, you know, you have 16, you just get eight crates piling up every, you, you get, no, you get 16 crates extra in backlog, and it just gets really, really bad and everything slows down. And, you know, you don't really want that. But luckily, PLX Co. doesn't really have to deal with that because these guys never actually send that many crates. Okay, and when they occasionally do, you can just wait a little bit and it'll eventually clear up because they'll stop sending so many extra crates. Um, and yeah, and that's how PLX Company makes your HQ, which only has their 16 crate trucks and three of them, total, able to ship out, well, you know, 32 crate trucks, uh, 32 crates worth of space when they can't actually, and satisfy the ridiculous demands of all the managers in GTX 980 warehouse, uh, manufacturing plants. So yeah, um, that's how a PLX chip works. And I hope you found this vid video educational, that you learned something that you found it funny to some extent, not a lot, but somewhat, enough to come back for the next time, next video, which will come out whenever I feel like it and will be about whatever I figure out it'll be about. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, all right, I'm repeating myself, aren't I? Yeah, I'm repeating myself. Okay, well, just wrap it up here. Goodbye, people. I'm, like, dying of sleep deprivation. See y'all next time. Can't find the money.